Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a new moon reading. The new moon is the 22nd, so April 22nd. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. This is for April 22nd or thereabouts. Okay, we're going to start right here. What do we have? What do we have? We're right around the new moon. What is this new moon bringing in? Transition. Transition. Transition is a big, huge change, right? It's like a transformation. Uh, it's a meaning um, in death, okay? When we transition from one phase to another. So it is definitely going to be a time of change, profound change. Um, obviously, there's an ending, okay, that leads to something new because that's what a transition is. So there's going to be a profound change that is happening, okay, right around this time. Somebody is transitioning from one phase to another. And if you think about transition, if you think about, and I'm not, I'm not saying that there, there's going to be a death, but if you think about death, there's, there's many, many different stages of death. Okay. But whatever this is, I mean, death is an ending that leads to a new beginning. So a transition, so it's transitioning from one phase to another. So if you've been stuck, you're not going to be stuck anymore. You're moving to that next level, whatever that means to you. Okay, so there's definitely going to be some sort of change. Okay, the heck is wrong with this thing? <laughs> well, falling down, Bob, probably. So something is happening. I don't know if this thing is damaged or what. All right, well, everything happens for a reason, so whatever. Transition. So, you know what I just see? I'm focusing on that card is the wings. The wings. So, whatever that means. Maybe earning your wings. Whatever that means. Um, for one season uh, changes. It's like when a season changes. Okay. So there's, there's def, a definite transition, okay? That season of your life is over. That phase of your life is over, okay? So that is exactly what we have here. We have a major transition that is happening. One season ends and a new season begins. One card for the new moon, please. Oh, we got two. I guess we're going to have to take them both. There may be some interruptions. Things are happening. Things are changing. Keep, take that as a sign. There is obviously something going on here. Um, I got a bunch of... I got an interruption on my phone. So there's definitely... Uh, it feels like it's craziness. This is kind of like a crazy transition. It's just there's interruptions. It's, it's not easy. This definitely isn't easy. Breathe, just breathe, just breathe. It's not in 29, 29 is a very, very fated degree. So it's whatever is happening, it's fate. It's fate. So, and, and it's, it's probably difficult. Okay, 29 is a very difficult degree. So this is a difficult transition. Okay, so we definitely have a difficult transition, which you are going to need to take a breath. You're going to need to take, you're going to need time to, uh, breathe through this it's not going to be easy there's going to be a difficult transition it's faded it's time okay it's time for this transition milk and honey now the rainbow is a symbol of um obviously there's been a storm there's been um 
there's been some rain, right? It's been stormy. It's probably been cold. It's been dark. It's, it's been wet. Okay. It's been, it may have been, um, difficult. Somebody has been down a difficult road. Um, but that storm is over. Okay. The storm is over. Things are about to get a whole lot sweeter. Okay. That's why we have transitions in our life. Don't fight it. Breathe through it. Accept it. Allow it. Everything happens for a reason. So things are going to get better. Things have been stormy. There's, there's an ending. There's a, some sort of uh, ending in which you are going to need to accept. It's not going to be easy. But this transition is needed because that season of your life is over. Here comes the sun. So what do we have for around the new moon? We have it we have an ending that leads to something a whole lot sweeter. You notice the orbs in this card. When I see orbs, somebody that has passed away, and I'm not sure if somebody is passing away, there's orbs in this card as well. So when you see orbs, that is a spirit, spirits that are around you, spirits that are guiding you through this transition. Okay, there's definitely orbs. Okay, there's an orb right there and there's orbs right here. So when you see orbs, there's, there's spirits around, people that have passed away. And they're guiding somebody. So I'm not, I don't know what's happening, but I can't, I can't rule out somebody passing away. I mean, I can't rule that out. There's guidance here. There is definitely... Uh, you know, um, spirits around, put it that way. Um, and transition is a, a, uh, part of death. Okay. But death can happen in more ways than one. All right. So what do we have for around the 22nd? Oh, we have a new beginning. We have a major new beginning. This is starting a new chapter, starting a new life, starting fresh, starting with a clean slate, leaving it all behind. Somebody is leaving it all behind. They are. They're stepping into a new territory, uh, just letting go. This is freedom. Replacing fear. Stepping forward. So we definitely have somebody that is taking a new journey. Starting a new chapter. That is part of this transition. And that means the only thing the fool takes with him is that bag. Nothing else. The rest stays. I'm no, I don't want it. I'm leaving it all behind. So somebody is about to start at zero. Leaving it all behind. New life. Oh. Yeah. So this is, there's a painful death. There's a painful, this is a death. This is a pain, this is a death. Or a near death experience. Looks as though this person, his leg is still up, so he's still alive. Barely. So, fighting. Fighting to live. Fighting. It got, it, the only way to live is to go. Get up. Take those swords out. And leave this crap behind. Leave this pain behind. So, somebody is about to leave something behind that has just about killed them. By the looks of things. Very, very painful. Um, giving up, goodbye. This is, this is, uh, feeling defeated. It's over. It's over. Goodbye. This is goodbye. This is goodbye. It absolutely is goodbye. Goodbye to a painful situation. It really, 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 really is. It's the end. It is the end of the suffering. It's the end of suffering. Hang man. Hang man. New perspective. Thought about it long enough. Waited long enough. Sacrificed long enough. It's over. We have somebody here that is letting go. They are surrendering. They are surrendering to life. It's they've thought about it. 
They've thought about the pain. They've thought about the suffering. And they've become enlightened and they are ready to go. They're done hanging on. Somebody's done. Abandonment. Neglect. Somebody has neglected. They have abandoned another person. They have led somebody in the wrong direction. They have. I mean, this is being led in the wrong direction. Refusing to uh, ask for help or refusing to... Trying to prove a point of some sort. We have somebody here that chose to... Uh, lead somebody in the wrong direction. They, they were so stubborn. This person is very stubborn. Somebody made a poor decision. They made a poor decision. Now they're experiencing some sort of consequences. They could have some regrets. It feels like we have somebody here that has some regrets. Three of pentacles reversed. Now these people, they don't work together well. They're not on the same page. It feels like we we have somebody here that chose to chose somebody that was weak. They chose somebody that was weak because they wanted to be in control. They wanted to be the uh, one that could control, right? So they chose somebody that was weaker than themselves and led this person in the wrong direction. But but it's like you can't, they, but they, they don't see eye to eye with this person. They're not on the same page. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork. Can't work with this person. This person has a victim mentality. And it's really rough. It's rough to uh, deal with this person. So I, there's... there's uh, hardship that is being experienced there could be a loss of money a loss of finances because somebody chose to um, I feel like they chose to hurt another person and and find somebody that was weaker to prove a point where they that they could control but now there's a loss of money there's a loss of stability you can't work with this person Oh my God, big, huge loss. We have a big, huge loss, huge, huge. Somebody threw away a real golden opportunity. They throw, threw something away that was big, a huge opportunity that was handed to them. They threw it away because of victim mentality. They wanted to be in control. This is a control issue here. Now they're losing money. They're losing stability. They're losing uh, security. There's no, they're losing their job or they're losing money fast. This is financial hard time. Somebody is, is, and I think that they're, they're experiencing these hard times because they abandoned, they abandoned somebody that they hurt trying to prove a point. They were definitely trying to prove a point. Now they're going to have a huge, huge, huge loss. It's huge. They got themselves involved with somebody that they could uh, lead. This person was easy to lead. They were easy to manipulate because they were weak. They chose somebody that was very, very weak. But now there's a huge loss because they, they um, hurt this other person. Or they hurt more than one person. Losing money. Definitely losing money here. This is financial hard times, financial struggle. This is a negative change, put it that way. Negative uh, financial change. Somebody is being hit in the purse. They're being hit in the pocketbook because of their neglect, because of their poor decision making. Because they didn't care who they hurt. And, you know, I don't need any karma cards, but karma is real. Anyway, somebody is, is losing financial stability. They're losing money really, 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 really fast. 
They are. Hmm. Lost opportunity. Definitely. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is somebody who takes action. i got to do something right now. Right now. Because they're experiencing financial hardship. Somebody is experiencing something, uh, some sort of financial hardship because they abandoned somebody, hurt somebody, got involved with somebody that was weaker. Now they're experiencing huge loss. A huge loss. Now they got to take action right now. They got this new perspective. I got to do something right now. I got to go right now. I got to do something right now. So we got somebody here that is about to move very, very quickly, very quickly in a new direction. Suddenly, sudden got this sudden vision, this sudden um, opportunity, or this sudden uh, insight, or something like that. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go right now. Gotta turn my back on this insecure situation. This is insecure. It's not stable. It's not, can't work with this person. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork. It's like somebody realizes this is a new right realization. Somebody realizes they gotta go right now. So there's like a sudden decision. It is. It's like a sudden decision that I can't, I can't do this anymore. There's nothing stable here. There's nothing, this isn't solid. It's not real. It's not real. So somebody just suddenly sees, because this is a vision, suddenly sees that this isn't real. I got to go. I got to go. So this is a painful ending, the Ten of Swords. This is painful. This is painful. This is Somebody has been suffering. They have been suffering. They have been suffering financially. They have been suffering mentally as well. Financially and suffering, suffering mentally. A lot of mental confusion here. But they've also become enlightened over time. Somebody has become enlightened. Now they're about to take a risk. We have somebody here, and this is very risky as well. We have somebody here that is about to take a big risk. They're going to step into unknown territory. They're going to they're going to step into. You know, they're going to face their fears because that's what the fool does, and this is fearless. We have somebody here that is about to face their fears. They have thought about it. They have thought about it with that hanging hey, man. They've they've wasted a lot of time and they've sacrificed their own happiness. To prove a point. Because the hangman has to prove a point. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with an Aries. Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. With that Ten of Swords. But this is um, the death of a situation. Okay? This is the death of a situation. And I believe this is too. So we have the death of a situation where somebody was abandoned, they were neglected, they were left out in the cold because somebody was trying to prove a point, and now this, this person that was trying to prove a point has suffered, suffered a great financial loss. Now they're about to take action. Oh my God. Six of Pentacles, that is huge financial loss. Again, somebody may get fired. There could be some unemployment. There's a fraud. We have a con. We have somebody here that has abused their power. They are very greedy. They uh, have abused. They've abused some somebody's generosity. Uh, and they may have gotten themselves into a one-sided situation where there was no, re where the person that they were dealing with was no reciprocation. Now they're taking away. They're taking away. This is being taken away. Taking away. Not giving. Taking action to not give. It's like they see a new perspective. I can't give to this situation anymore. Somebody has decided not to give. The not to give to this uh situation that has no opportunity it's like there's no opportunity for growth here there's no opportunity for success so somebody has decided they're not going to give to it they gotta go right seven of swords getting caught now this could be theft i wonder if there's been somebody that has been stealing or doing something that is against the law and they get caught this could be theft being robbed you know um somebody could be stealing from them like I said, karma is a, a, a wonderful thing. It really is. Anyhow, Seven of Swords Reverse is getting caught. 
Somebody may want to come back. They might, might want to give back. Maybe they maybe they stole something and they want to bring it back. Or they... Um, realize that they did not give they real because that's realization somebody is realizing that they did not do the right thing or something like that and they're about to take action they left something behind and they're coming back what the hell is this um, but this is getting caught and this could be punishment. Somebody could get caught. They could, ca could get caught stealing. They could get caught lying. They could get caught cheating. Something is happening. Something is happening where they get caught. Or they got caught. Somebody may be getting caught. Because this is leading somebody into a dangerous situation. I wonder if somebody is uh, doing something that is against the law and they get caught and they end up in jail. Because this could be jail. This could be punishment. Somebody could end up being punished for their um, abuse. Their abuse of their abuse. This is abuse. Six of Pentacles reverse. It is. And this is somebody who acts recklessly, and that is too. I feel as though somebody could make a foolish move, and they could end up getting themselves in trouble. So just, I don't know who that reading, who that is for. You know, somebody could end up getting hurt. And just, I'm just being honest with you. It's like there's been a loss of money. There's a loss of finances. You know, we need money. We got to get money somehow. And they do something foolish, and they get caught. Somebody could get hurt. And they end up in jail prison to say that's just I don't know who that is for but I also feel as though we have somebody that's about to leave everything behind they've gotten a new perspective they did not reciprocate they may have lied they may have cheated they may have done something stupid whatever they abused their power um, but now they're they see something differently and they're gonna, they're gonna take action because this is a new perspective and I'm gotta go I gotta go take care of this we gotta go so somebody is making a very uh, fast move it's a sudden move but they've thought about it they're taking away from one Oh my God, I wonder if there's some sort of addictions here. There's some sort of addictions here. Um, I don't know if somebody is selling drugs and they get caught. I mean, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but they could get caught. There's some, some something like that. Um, now the devil, things getting worse, reverse. Things could get, somebody's been suffering. They've been suffering. They must free themselves. They've been, they've been, um, Tied to something that was unhealthy, tied to an addiction, tied to greed, tied to their ego. Their ego got in the way of their happiness. But this is this is things have gotten worse, and now they're they're experience. We have somebody here that is was very egotistical that was experienced that has been now experiencing a financial burden because of their um, stubbornness. You know, whatever karma. I believe this has to do with karma. Um, now they're getting caught. Something is happening where somebody is getting caught and, and they're being, um, it feels like they could get be put in handcuffs. They could be taken away. I'm not trying to scare anybody. You may hear news of somebody being taken away. If that's the case, we have an abuse of generosity and abuse of power. Okay. Things are getting out of hand. I think that things could be getting, somebody acts in a risky manner and they end up getting caught and, um, being locked up and I, and I don't know where that's coming from but it's something that I needed to say um, six of pentacles reverse this is lack of reciprocation losing money really really somebody definitely losing money fast there's no doubt about it um, and it's because of reckless behavior it is definitely because of reckless behavior and I think that, you know, they, maybe they try to steal. They try to steal and or they try to do something that is against the law. I know that I keep on repeating myself, 
but um, you know you got to be really careful with your risky actions because you could get caught and you could end up I mean I don't know what's happening here but it doesn't look good um, you can free yourself from this bondage you can free yourself from this toxic situation if you can um, uh, let go let, you have to let go, let, let go of something, okay? Because that is let go. You ha, you must struggle through and let go of this addiction. You must let go of your ego. You must let go of your pride. You must um, take action to not give your, your energy to toxic situations. And the only way to do that is to walk away and leave it behind you. And maybe you... You know, you really have to turn your back on situations that are causing you pain, that are causing you suffering, that are hurting you. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is going to be turning their back on a painful situation. And and, and they may be turning their back because they get arrested, okay? And that leads them down a new path. I mean, sometimes that's what it takes, okay? Um, but that may not be the case for, obviously, it's not going to be the case for all of you. I do feel as though we have somebody here that has decided to turn their back on their own with that fool card. They just decide to go. It's like it's time for this season is over. This this suffering is over. I've lost too much. I've, I've lost because there's a huge loss here, a huge financial loss. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to start fresh someplace else. So I do feel as though... Um, after some sort of situation where it's really stormy, right? It's dark it, and things are bad. Things get really, really bad. And uh, it, it kind of like forces somebody in a new direction. So yeah, be prepared to be forced in a new direction. Good luck.